Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. I'm Shadesville. Oh, and we were really close to getting a Duna lander up into space, docked, tested, and ready. But I do believe we decided that we need another stage. Now this stage will probably mostly be used for landing and then initial launching from the surface. So it's not going to be anything massive. Level? No. The level? No. The level? No. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Put those together and delete. Yeah, because before, these guys weren't making it up into space, meaning I couldn't use any of this RCS to help for maneuvering. I only had what was on here. So basically, I have to get this up into space, or else the design has failed, basically. Powerful enough. Uh, okay. I do want this stage to be different, though. Not just a rehash of what we've got going on in there. So. Let's use engine mounts. It's the strongest. No? Nope. Yeah. All of those together in one. Okay. So far, so good. Looks like it's the same height. Now it's going to burn through its fuel very fast with four engines. But, you know, that's actually kind of the plan. They are literally essentially just a launch slash landing stage.
There we go. Okay, got us a nice little thing going here. Mm, oh, right, nope, 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 small problem. He's not going to be able to reach that ladder, is he? No. Okay, so... Let me just calmly reach in there. Raise it up like that. Let's reach around. And I play that. Is that level? That is not level. Hmm. Yeah, that's basically level. I accept. Okay. And then we strut it. We, we we strut it like we have never strut it before. We are getting our strut on. There we go. Nice and stratified. And I do believe that that deserves an upgrade. Let's save her. Save. Save. Uh, let's <laughs> clear some of these uh, failed S <laughs> and go from launch pad one. And launch. All right, thumbed and Kerman. Oh, right, our last guy died. He, no, wait, no, he didn't die. He, no, no, he died. We tried to do re-entry and the cockpit burned up before I could get stuff decoupled. I remember, oh, so that's another Kerman gone. Oh, well, let's go. This time I will remember I can throttle down, so if I start to overheat, I can reduce the throttle. <laughs> I didn't know that button did that. That's kind of cool. That was the comma button I accidentally pressed when I was trying to press M. Ten thousand feet. I'm gonna hit this little target button and see how badly it freaks out. If it can go to target all by itself, actually no. That would be bad. Never mind. Because it looks like that's on the negative half of the nav ball, which would not have good results if I press, if I press that.
so good though. You know this might work. It doesn't overshoot too badly and can write it so it's actually pointed at target and no it can't. So that was a mistake. Let's not press that button again. Stage one. Did anything break off from that? Nope, we are all good. All right. Let's try and fix what I did to you. Ugh. Some wrong buttons. There we go. That's the right one. How bad's this look? Oh my. Well, I seem to have at least partly fixed it so it's coming down. Well, I'm officially out of the atmosphere. The output apps, that's good. up.
Okay. That's good. Is that going up or going down? That's going up. That's not what I want. Um, shoot. I overshot my goal. Let's see if I can fix it. happening. Okay. Okay. Let's see. That brings us within 300,000, but completely destroys my orbit. So close, too. So out right about here, let's create a maneuver. All right, just bring my orbit out a bit. What's that put me at? You know, and you know what? That's actually good enough. Um, uh, let's target maneuver. There we go. Solar panels. Not that it helps with us being in the dark right now, but yeah. That'll help as we swing around. And then warp to burn. Very slow for some reason. I wonder why. Oh, I fell back into the atmosphere. I hadn't even noticed. We're coming back out though, so that's good. much fuel. So hopefully I can spin around enough times that we get a really close intersect. I don't think we will though. Yeah, I wasted a lot of fuel trying to do the intercept while still in the atmosphere like I was. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. And warp to burn. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter when I start burning, just that. Do. Okay, so we are. Carry ups of 148. Good, 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 good. Alright, so how many times around that we get a pretty close encounter?
Ah. Okay, so we are getting further. This is probably the closest right here. So, target. Should be pointed straight at it right now, and then it's no. Oh wait, RCS. Translate. Nope. Um. Oh, I had just used these. I don't know why I've forgotten them. Translate. Back is in an age. I want to go towards it. All right, that is actually working. It is bringing our distance to target down. Don't want to use all of that. Yeah, no, we're not going to get anywhere near. Let's try. Uh, I need to come up with a better way to try and dock this. think I can land anymore I think that no I do have parachutes okay that's okay then so we're gonna try and land uh Thomden Kerman back down because I feel kind of bad now I accidentally uh really screwed up that all right so I need to learn how to dock stuff that's a bit of a problem fast. Uh, sorry, Thomden.
Yeah, they don't seem to have one that's, uh... seem to have one for what I want, which is docking. But uh, we found another fatal weakness, and I do believe fatal is highly appropriate in this instance. Pretty sure we had already experimented with this, and the more heat shields, just the more protection you. But I could be wrong. I could be misremembering. There we go. I had to really jury rig these stairs, I remember. Mm. Oh, I hope that's not a problem. I hope that's not a problem. I hope you can get back up that. What? I hope. What if I just remove one? Yeah, that looks close enough. Little Kerbal can reach up that far. Sure. No problems. Okay. Okay, I think I'm fundamentally mentally thinking wrong on how to do an intercept like I'm trying to do. That being, oh no. That, that being intercepting uh, a vessel like I'm trying to. I don't think I'm going about it right. Yeah, because as we just showed, we can. This gets us up there. Just not. I mean, maybe with enough fuel. <sighs> Drop it down onto Duna. All you gotta do is deorbit, which does not take much fuel at all, and parachute. and then lifts back off. It's the lift back off and get back into orbit and intercept and redock that is what most of this fuel is for. Hmm. All right, well, I mean, that was essentially a successful test. If I had been able to mentally wrap my head around an intercept, we would have been able to dock With the end, that middle bit, this guy with full fuel in him, which would be more than enough to deorbit once we're back to Kerbin. So I think that was a successful test of this. This should be able to land on Duna, take off of Duna, and get this capsule back to Kerb Kerbin. And if it isn't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Ugh. 
would really suck to get to Duna and this all fail. Uh, oh well. Now to build the launch stage. Oh, no, but... It's in the right place. This has a max thrust of thirteen eighty one. Yeah. So that alone should be good. Then oops. what I wanted. That's okay. Move him out. Fix this. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're funny, game. You're, you're really funny.
think that should be enough engines. Okay, so at this point, I really hope it's enough. Six, so yeah, we should be good. Let's add some uh, wind baffling whatevers so we don't uh, throw it around by the wind. Then we'll add some struts. And we should be good to test the launch stage. Ah. Ah. Well, I mean, there's a lot up here. That so should be fine. I, I was thinking um, SAS for a second there, but nah. Th th there's enough up here that it should be able to keep it pointed the right way. Especially because I'm not tilting this thing until it's out of atmosphere. I just not. Mm -mm. Nope, not doing it. <sighs> uh, struts. Okay, that's probably the best I'm going to get as it goes to struts. Uh, tempted to rename the darn thing Flower of Doom. Faster. So we got new Cal Kerman in the pilot seat. We've got a little bit of twisty turny, but nothing snapped or broke. Hopefully we're okay there. We are already 
pretty leaning though. Mistaken in my belief that I could control this. on my keyboard to try and get this to not do this. The universe took it as a challenge when I said I wasn't going to tilt it till we were uh, out of atmosphere and said, uh -huh, uh -huh, are you sure about that? sad part is I think I know exactly why it's doing this. It's the struts. The, those struts I put on top. At that, that, that last little bit where I was desperately trying to connect the top to the bottom with struts. Yeah, I can already see why it did that.
on temperature drop please don't do this Too deep in the atmosphere, going too fast. So temperature is dropping as my speed drops. I wonder if they did something like that, where they linked the temperature to your speed directly, rather than being an equation where the temperature rises based on something a little bit more intelligent. I mean, if that's the case, then what the hell? All right. Took out one of my engines on the way. Of course you did. Why wouldn't you? Took out a couple engines. Five, six of them. control no control all right that was on me made a couple errors let's yeah no we're, we're gonna crash anyways so let's retrograde and just use our remaining fuel and power to uh, slow down It should be entertaining watching this happen because uh, it's going to wobble all around as soon as I fire these engines. Alright. Skadoosh.
Huh. Looks like we'll actually get to test the landing part that I had wanted to test at one point, but forgot that I wanted to test it. Yay! Yeah, the parachutes. Are 20 parachutes enough for this thing's massive weight? Should be. I don't see why it wouldn't be. that are floating around up here so I don't have to deal with them uh, come when I try and uh, dock. Alright, so we're gonna wanna drag those back in. expecting it to work that well. Speed her up. Sadly, we're landing in the ocean, so I won't get to test him jumping out and going up and down the ladder somewhere, but oh well. That's fine, too. Alright, we're officially in the atmosphere, so I'm going to trigger the parachutes. I won't deploy for a while yet. Oh. Turn these off. And just let it go. And do some speed up, but that's. the wing so of course it's a little off balance now and blah that's okay air shoot should be deploying any second now unsafe can I deploy you anyways Thousand. Okay. If it's not deployed by a thousand, I will manually deploy this. Because I need to know if this is enough to slow us down. Ah! 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 Hmm. 
Alright, I'm not sure what happened there, why the parachutes didn't deploy. Maybe it's because I was going too fast, but that doesn't make sense. Their whole point's to slow you down. Oh, I think that's enough for now, though. I hope you guys have a good one. See you next time.